All right, CAD fans, so this is the second video where I'm drawing these abutments and wing walls in 3D. So ready, get set, go. And what I'll do is just cut the corner on that. Smart line, go up here straight. Doesn't really matter where I go. And I'm going to trim it. Cut solid by curve, cut that with that. Just like that. Let's take a look at the isometric and see if it's still looking about the way we want. Probably not, huh? I got that one over there. Spin this around a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of low, isn't it? So I want to move that up. Let's just make this big. We'll do it right in the isometric view. We'll live on the edge. Three, two. I move this. I'll hit the uh, enter key. See if I can get it to lock. Go move it right up. Went up part way. No, that's not what I wanted at all. You can see it's a little bit hazardous moving things in the isometric. Um, so I think I'm just going to go back to the front where you can see it a little better. Do the same thing. I'm going to need to go F for front. Moving up, enter. See if that works better. Yep. All right. We're back to the isometric. That looks more like what we wanted, isn't it? Some people get really good at drawing just an isometric. I'm not as good at that, so there you have it. Bridge operator, bridge operator, it's a southbound sailing vessel north wind requesting an opening at your convenience. Thank you, bridge operator. This is Northwind Clear, standing by on 0916. So one more thing with this wing wall. It actually tapers down. It's not flat across. So let's see if we can get it to move. You know, just move each one of these corners down. And we can use this tool here called Modify Solid ND and this vertex version and what we do is essentially pick you can pick any point on the solid and then move it I think maybe we should move down maybe about half a meter so point 0.5 I'll type in there that's one side of it and let's do the other side point 0.5 it came right down so that looks pretty good huh That seems about right. So we can work with that. I think the next thing I'll do is flip it over to the other side as a copy and just delete this one. I'm going to do that in top view, I think. And we can use the mirror tool, right? About vertical, make a copy. Pick that. Snap to the middle of the abutment. There it is. Take a look at the isometric and that looks pretty good. The only thing I really don't like is it looks like this footing I drew too long. I'm just sort of winging these dimensions from, from the DOT plan so I don't necessarily get them right. So let's uh, let's go over here and shorten this up a little bit. Maybe move this back about a meter or so. 
So I think maybe I should have drawn it as 11 instead of 12. Same tool, I think I could use this one instead. See that yellow line? That's what's actually moving back this time. So let's go back one meter. Same thing there. One meter. That's probably a little more appropriate. I can do the same thing on the other side. If we can get there from here. I get used to spinning this stuff around. Same modify tool. I'm having pretty good luck drawing an isometric today. Sometimes it works pretty well for me, sometimes it doesn't. But there we go. Now the last thing I think we should add to this piece of artwork is the little pedestals that the girders sit on. And so right across the front of this abutment, wow, mouse control, there's going to be like one, two, like five pedestals that go across there. So I'm going to switch over to the uh, front view, or top view I think would be easier. Switch to the abutment level, which it looks like I haven't gotten things moved over there anyway, so I'm going to have to do some level cleanup later. Zoom into this corner right here, and I'll stay in red, I think that'll be fine. And use a slab, snap to that corner right there. O for origin, move to the left, I'll say 0.1 meter, and then left click, and go back, I think it's 1.2 meters, 1.2, not 0.12, whoops, I screwed up, try this again, snap, O, over 0.1, left click straight up I think I got snapped over on that other line 1.2 left 1.2 because they're square and then I get a switch to the side view to drag that up let's see 0.33 so there's a pedestal right there back to the front view And we'll want to make some copies of that so I can use the same tools. We'll go from there to the center. If I just move carefully to start with, hit enter to lock it and snap one onto the center. That was 7.3 meters away, I saw. So I could do another copy and go over halfway. So I'll just type in 7.3 divided by 2. 3.65. All right. And then I can do the same thing over here. Probably, yep, it kind of snaps to 3.65 if you move your mouse well enough. And then again. So there's my pedestals. And I probably want to hook those right into the abutment so I can use this tool called Unite Solids. That solid. And that solid. And I can also go through and click all the other ones, too. Can't tell if I'm quite getting them there. And they should have just hooked all together. So when I look back at the side view, well, that one definitely didn't. So let's do it again. Unite solids. That solid with that solid. One more click. That should do it there. If I hit the repaint, uh, that red line should have disappeared, but because usually it just hooks right, right together. Well, you know what's the one behind it? Okay, so I'll just keep going. So I'm going across the front, and eventually they'll all disappear. There they are. So now you can see that there are it all kind of hooked together in the same solid. Okay. That looks pretty nice. So you see that the uh, beam pedestals. And I believe that should do it.